Picasso met Mu Tis. There once was a young pig named Picasso. While other piglets rolled in the mud and played games, Picasso painted. He painted anything and everything, and in the most unusual way. At the same time, there once was a young bull named Mu Tis. Mu Tis was not like other bulls. He wasn't interested in bullfighting. Mu Tis was happy only when he painted pictures, and he painted big, bold, bright pictures. In time, Word of Picasso's talent spread throughout the pig provinces. Soon, art-loving pigs from all over lined up to buy his creations. At the same time, Mu Tis was getting famous in the cattle community. There weren't many households that didn't own a Moosterpiece. Picasso and Mu Tis were becoming art superstars, but this came with a price. Everybody wanted to see them. Art buyers, art sellers, art students, art historians, art groupies. It was an art attack. One day, Pig Casso got fed up and said, I'm tired of this noisy pig pen. At the same time, Mutis declared, I'm sick of this crowded cow town. Needing a change, they both decided to look for a peaceful place where they could paint without distractions. So each of the two artists looked far and wide for the perfect spot. Pig Casso found a lovely farm looking towards the east. Mu Tis found a handsome farm facing the west. After Pig Casso moved in, he went to introduce himself to his new neighbor across the road. At the same time, Mu Tis went to introduce himself to his new neighbor across the road. This is how Pig Casso met Mu Tis, and coincidentally, how Mu Tis met Pig Casso. At first, Pig Casso and Mu Tis were friendly and welcomed each other as artists, but soon things began to change. It started one day when Pig Casso criticized one of Mutis's paintings. Then Mutis made fun of one of Pig Casso's. Mutis called Pig Casso an art hog, and Pig Casso called Mutis a mad cow. Mutis quipped, You paint like a two year old. Pig Casso retorted, You paint like a wild beast. Mutis raged, Your colors look like mud. Pig Casso spat, your colors look like color by numbers. Then things really got out of hand. It was a modern art mess. Pig Casso stormed off to his house. That Mutis doesn't like my art. He huffed. Well, I'll show him. And Mutis bullied his way into his house. I'll give that Pig Casso something to really criticize. He snorted. Then, full, a full-scale feud erupted, but it was the most unusual battle. Armed with ladders and bucket of paint, Mutis launched the first attack. He started at dawn. By the end of the evening, he had succeeded in transforming the outside of his house into a monster-sized moosterpiece. Now, not to be outdone, Pig Casso fired up his paintbrushes and in full view of the enemy, counter-attacked. He turned his farm into a huge, outrageous pork of art. The two artists had retreated into their houses and pulled down the shades. Pig Casso certainly didn't want to look out his window and stare at Mutis, and Mutis had no desire to give his rooms a view of Pig Casso. This presented a problem and there seemed to be only one solution. Without a word to each other, Pig Casso and Mutis began to build a huge wooden fence down the middle of their road. At first, Pig Casso and Mutis seemed satisfied. Both artists went back to painting by themselves, but after a while, Pig Casso was surprised to find that he missed that bullheaded Mutis. 
At the same time, Mutis found his studio empty without the presence of the pig-headed Picasso. Picasso pondered, that Mutis isn't such a bad artist. He has some interesting ideas. Mutis moaned, that Picasso may not paint like me, but he knows what he's doing. However, being naturally pig-headed and bull-headed, neither artist knew how to apologize to each other. So they did what they do best. They let their paintbrushes do the talking. Pig Casso painted on one side of the fence and Mutis painted on the other. Each worked until they were exhausted. It was strangely quiet when they were done. Then, curious to see what Mutis had been doing, Pig Casso sprinted around to the other side. At the same time, Mutis galloped to Pig Casso's side. The silence was broken as the two artists began laughing at their amazing work of heart. From that day on, Picasso and Mutis became great friends. They happily took down the fence and shared their different views. A few mo months later, a big museum bought the fence. Picasso called his side when Picasso met Mutis. And Mutis called his side when Mutis met Picasso. The critics called it incredible. The true story of Picasso and Matisse. Picasso and Matisse were not a pig and a bull, but they were characters. They were two of the finest artists of the 20th century. While they were never neighbors, they became close in a small world of art.